best and most vulnerable characters in the game. So let's chart these two's path to grand finals. Kaysen, of course, coming in on the winner's side, taking out Riff Flip, Anonymous Moniker, Marshall, Rebel, Crow. Uh, oh, sorry. Excuse me, not not Crow. Uh, I, I read that wrong. Uh, J oh, Kaysen actually sent JD to losers back in winner's quarterfinals. So this is a rematch, the grudge match here in grand finals between JD and Kaysen. That was a 2-0. The other time they played at Construct three weeks ago, that was also a 2-0. So, yeah. so far, Kaysen has had JD's number yeah. when these two have played. I think I think he, for anyone unex, inexperienced with uh, with either of these characters, you'll soon see why I think that that matchup that uh, that it's been so consistent in Kaysen's favor. This is very very difficult for Dr. Mario to approach, and yeah. Kaysen plays this matchup so well. Kaysen is so patient here. And, and even when JD's starting a combo, ZSS is so nimble and so skinny, honestly, that she's just able to ev evade some, some combos. And ZSS also has the punish, or uh, excuse me, the speed, both in the air and on the ground, to punish any laggy options from JD. Yeah. And getting the getting the good get up, uh, excuse me, normal get up read into yep. the side B is going to take yeah. JD's first stock. Plasma Whip is such a moneymaker for ZSS mains mm -hmm. who can't... Who, are, are being patient and not jumping into an early kill option. That plasma whip, it, that plasma whip is so reliable at that percent. Mm. Yeah, and look how aerial that JD has to play. Getting the up B, that was a good job Whoa. there. Almost gets the neutral air. Yeah. Misses the double neutral air. I really like that neutral air that JD went for off stage, but it might have got it might have gotten him edge guarded here. This is looking pretty rough. Oh, okay. Up B out of shield. Up B out of shield. Doing. A lot of work and landing on Dr. Mario. That's yeah. going to be the big thing. Can JD capitalize on those opportunities? Goes for the up smash, doesn't get it there. Yeah, I mean you're seeing already that this is just this is very different. These up smashes, up bees, all of these options that JD was hitting without issue uh, in the previous sets are now much more difficult mm -hmm. against such a patient player on such a patient character. Ooh. JD's starting to make something happen a little bit here. He gets sent off stage though. Yeah. Going to get back for free. Kaysen just content to stay and pressure the corner instead, which, you know, yeah, that's fine. With the, the lack of speed on Dr. Mario, that's a, definitely a way you can play this matchup. Yeah. Oh, he uses the armor there. Yeah. All right, that oh. back air will take the stock for sure. Goes around the F smash to hit with the back yep. air. Yeah, you're seeing right now that the speed of ZSS just able to punish these these smash attacks where JD's Ooh. been using them. Not really punishing like that, that one, though. though. That was really cool. Yeah. I saw... Oh, no! Ooh, oh. Barely makes it back! That was a little scary, but he's okay. He's back on center stage at only 8%, so he can definitely still pull this stock out. Yeah, that Nair doing 15 and sending a mile away. Yeah. Nair is a kill option. Back air is a kill option. He's always got his throw. JD can certainly pull this misses off. Misses the grab. Misses another grab. Kaysen punishes with the F tilt, trying to get that neutral air, just dancing around Dr. Mario's yeah. head. The throw, that back throw is so strong, and it's going to kill yeah. for the first time we've seen on this setup so yeah. far. 62% uh, to Kaysen's 9. Unable to get a follow-up off that opening with that up tilt. JD. But I mean, this is not out of the realm of possibility. Dr. Mario does so much damage and can kill really early, as we saw in previous sets. <laughs> Yeah, but Kaysen, look how patiently he's playing this yeah. right now. He is, if he's not getting a hit on the platform, he's just going to wait back on center stage. Look at that. He's just not engaging, trying to make sure that JD doesn't get any sort of a comeback and hitting with that forward air. When he has an opportunity, he hits oh, with the back air, he's and living. he's going to live. But can he make it back? Goes with the early tornado. Wow. The air dodge is going to save him, but can he get out of the corner? Shields the side B. Down air is going to hit him off stage. JD recovering. He's in the corner. All right, he's got to be really careful and he here. makes oh, it back, downer. but he's still in disadvantage, still on that top platform. Has to get back. He could just is able to get back. Kaysen disengaging. Oh, good spot dodge to avoid it. And the back air is going to take game one for Kaysen. Yeah. Really strong end of game by JD there. But Kaysen had the, stop, had the percent advantage, had him off stage. And even when JD got back on, it was just advantage state after advantage state. 
for Kaysen. And, and the thing I love about Kaysen is that he's just willing to disengage when he feels that he's not 100% certain about a situation, yeah. right? He's not... Kaysen does not want to give Dr. Mario, a character who you said has a chance to snowball, the opportunity to get back in the game. That's exactly what Kaysen did to win game one. Yeah, there are a lot of naive CSS players out there that try to push their advantage way too hard, mm -hmm. and it often gets them punished. ZSS is not as much of a character that can do that compared to some of the other top tiers in this game. Where ZSS really thrives is picking her battles and then dominating in those. Yeah, so now we're on Smashville, where I think this is a... I kind of like this choice because you saw a bunch of those situations where Dr. Mario got stuck on the top platform, unable to really get down. It's also a bit of a smaller stage too, so less room for ZSS to run away, especially vertically. Yeah, yeah. These blast zones are definitely going to come in handy. Mm -hmm. And the smaller stage size so far has been decent for both of them. ZSS obviously not able to run away as much, but like I said, she can still play the offensive game. And we're seeing it a little bit here. Yes, the tornado coming down doesn't mash, so it's just going to, you know, yeah, slowly descend. Slowly fall. Yeah. yeah, that's actually a really good option sometimes. People are really not expecting that very often. All right, now JD off stage in the corner. Kaysen just smashing that that bumper right there to yeah. bring out the Zare. And we're seeing pills for Dr. Oh. Mario. Gets the berry into the up B. Yeah, that's, that's going to be the... Yeah, yeah definitely. The yeah, I mean, that's the problem. I mean, even if, even if you're even for so... Oh, he fell out of the up smash. That's the second time I've seen that. Good STI there by JD to get out of it. Yeah. I mean, this is the problem. Like, even if Z uh, JD can stay even for a while, once he loses the lead, Kaysen can just absolutely go crazy like this. He yeah. almost got the stock with that flip kick, but he was on stage still. Yeah, in a matter of seconds, Kaysen is just running away with this lead right now. He's put on 100% and a That's kill stock. in a matter of a minute. Yeah, really impressive. Oh, okay. Solid up, up smash there to take it while he was still invincible. Well played there. He uses his invincibility to the greatest degree possible by getting that kill. Yeah, trying to get the double up smash doesn't get it here. But in a way, the counter pick for Kaysen, or excuse me, the counter pick for JD is sort of working a little bit against him because it's giving that Zare is just really hard to avoid with the platform there. Yeah. And he's turning the advantage, which is holding center stage, into sort of a disadvantage where JD can't get out, and he's able to challenge him from the corner. Yeah, ZSS is one of the best characters in the game at playing from the corner because of all of her evasive options and her quick... Ooh, that's it. That's wow. it. Yeah. Took the jump, didn't have the tornado, and right now, Kaysen is one game away from taking between two lakes 37. That was just a dominant performance from start to finish. Yeah, uh, there are not many places to nitpick his gameplay that game. He was just really strong throughout. I'd say, uh, I mean, I'd try to give some advice to, to either player, but right now it looks like they're just both playing to the best of their character's abilities, to the best of their abilities. And... See if JD sticks with the dock. I think so, yeah. yeah. No I, reason to go away from it at this point. Yeah, I mean, it, it got him this far. It's already, he's down 2-0. You know, he might as well see it out. Mm -hmm. His other characters, while they're good, his dock is, is looking really, really strong this tournament, and I fully understand just sticking with it. Back to Smashville for Game 3. So far in his ultimate career, JD has not taken a single game off of Kaysen. We'll see if he can reverse that trend. Wow, is that true? Yeah. In all, in all of Ultimate, he hasn't taken well, a Well, according to PG Stats, he is because they've only played twice, once earlier today, and once a construct. There's and there were... no way that's true. Wow. In all of these years, they've only played twice? That's absurd. According even so, to this. Even, in, even so, in recent history, they've absolutely, it's absolutely been a Kaysen dominated set. So even if they've played in the past, just like this, Kaysen is just running away. This is looking really tough. And it's, it's, it's hard to say what he can really do. I, it looks like he's controlling the, the pace of the game so well when he has advantage, but when he doesn't, it, it, he just loses the stock. I like that attack cancel back here, though. Yeah. Got Kaysen off stage, but he's just able to get back to center stage so easily. Yeah. It's so hard for Doc to even push that sort of advantage. Yeah, I mean, with no with no air mobility, if ZSS is flip jumping from ledge, 
she just gets on that top platform for free. That's one of the reasons why I'm not so sure about this counter pick, but Ooh. that up B's finally going to take it off the top. Great up B. 141 was, all it, was, was what it took. Katie's just got to get these kills in neutral. That's the thing. That's exactly. what makes it so hard. And Kaysen can push all these kills in disadvantage because of how bad Doc's disadvantage is. Right. Yeah. Dr. Mario needs, like, a couple reads or a solid kill confirmed to take it, but ZSS can really just explode you from one or two. Gets the tornado. And now JT, as we talk about Doc, Doc's disadvantages, his advantages are... Coming in a full display, he's taking the lead oh in game three. Oh my god, that shield is looking so small. Look at that. Just Kaysen F tilt. Kaysen drop shield, and he dies. He jumps from ledge and eats the forward air from JD. JD looking to take his first game over Kaysen here in grand finals. He's got about, he's on 82, gets back to the ledge. Now, CSS in the corner, just going to flip back to the, the center stage in the middle of that house. This is the most frustrating thing about the matchup. ZSS is off stage and Doc tries to ledge trap or do oh, he yes, the tornado! Kill. That will Ooh. kill! JD takes game three over Kaysen! Yeah, that's, I mean, that's the snowball, but I mean, you saw it just before that. The reason why this is so tough ZSS was off stage, recovered, and then had Doc as the one who was being at ledge guard, at edge trap. Wow, ledge trapped. And. And credit to JD for getting through that and then getting that quick kill because that could have been very dangerous for him. Yeah, he saw the low recovery coming from Kaysen and he recognized his moment and he took it. Yeah. And that's the thing. These two have so far only played in, in best of three sets. And now it's best, best of five. You get that adaptation. Yeah. You get time to understand how to start making these hits count. And... You know, you forget, Dr. Mario, it only takes a couple hits yeah. to bring you to, to killing percentages. Yeah, you saw it there. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Mario can kill mad early, and ZSS is one of the lightest characters in the game. The thing is, how many more times is Kaysen going to fall for something like that? Mm -hmm. that? That's the problem. Yeah, he's going to have to reach back into his bag of tricks a little bit more as we start Game 4 on PS2. Yeah, I mean, so far, JD's looking really strong in this game, but all it takes is one throw, and now he's in disadvantage. And with a best-of-five set, starting out 2-0, Kaysen has counterpicks the rest of the way. Yeah. So Doc is not going to get a favorable stage from here on out. Right, exactly. Oh, uh, gets the down. The Doc. Yeah. Yep. There goes oh, the... no, he lived. Wait, really? Yeah, he, he DI'd it straight into the corner. That's not, DI is not going to save you there, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that backer is going to finish it no matter what unfortunate for him but a 78's not too bad he can he can make this work he just really mm -hmm. cannot let zss snowball here it looks like kaysen's opting to play kind of aggressively right now he's not really backing off Ooh. okay that could have been really bad for pawns yeah i don't think zss is a move that can send that far off stage where doc isn't going to recover them right i mean she has f smash which is extremely slow and bad she has f tilt which might have worked but yeah I mean, Fonz would have had his jump, so he would have been okay. But just the threat of being off stage as Dr. Mario is enough sometimes. Oh, getting these Zares. Now starting to wall JD out here. Yeah, this is looking difficult. Mm -hmm. He's got to take this stock, but, I mean, Kaysen's playing really fast right now. Yeah. Look at all these options. There's always a hitbox on screen, and, mm -hmm. and Kaysen is always just bouncing around. He's never staying still. Yeah, it, it's... You know, Doc's got to get some sort of a hard read here at some point, or not a hard read, but a, you know, a, a Doc has face. to know where where Kaysen's going to be in order to get some sort of a kill. Look at that. He's just trying to up smash the landings, but he can't figure it out. Yeah, I mean, ZSS is so ambiguous with her landings because of how good her drift is mm -hmm. and how many options she can perform in a row. Air dodge is into the pill. Not going to get anything, though. Now, Kaysen yeah. just has center stage the back air. Yeah. Gonna boot ZSS off the side. It's looking like, okay, finally. Ooh. He gets the down tilt up air. Tried and true. Finally takes the stock, but 123%. It's it's looking tough. Yeah. Okay, you that's an opening though. Dash attack going under ZSS grab and mm -hmm. hitting. Yeah, we saw a crouch actually from, from JD in the last game. I wonder if maybe that could be some sort of tool. I don't know, because it seems a bit niche to me. It seems a little bit interesting as counterplay, but mm -hmm. ZSS doesn't need to grab in this matchup. Yeah. ZSS can absolutely just play without grabbing. And mm -hmm. in that case, that's that that dash attack just means yeah. nothing anymore. And now we're seeing the plasma whips sort of come out here. 
Yep. That's the third one in the past minute. Ooh, oh, who doesn't get the up B sweet spot, and he's living for it. That's Tries another one, yeah. But credit where it's due, JD really brought that stock back. I mean, he only took like 15%, while Kaysen took 106. Yeah, I think JD wants some sort of attack situation here. He's throwing out these pills to see if he can knock down Kaysen's ZSS. Yeah. And look at that, just... Casey. JD now playing very patiently. Okay. Gets the landing, gets the empty hop and the up smash. One stock apiece here in game four of grand finals. This is going to be really interesting because I feel like when Kaysen backs off and plays on the back burner, he's playing a lot better and he's taking way less damage. But I feel like he's way more inclined to be playing it offensively right now. And I'm not sure why. He was I playing mean, so patiently the rest of the sets that I've seen from him, but right now he's so aggressive. He's attacking Doc's yeah. shield, which is the biggest no-no for Doc. Right now, even percent with the grab, but Doc too slow to punish. <laughs> yeah, you can say that again. Uh, trying to land with the neutral air. Gets the dash attack. Kaysen's standing on the platform, trying to push advantage a little bit more. Tries to go for the paralyzer, doesn't get it. Uh, oh, now, those pills. Oh, that pill could have been something. is as even as can be right now. Kaysen in the corner, both players trying to hold center There's stage! The B. He, held B. he held out and got eaten alive for it. Wow! Yeah. That just... He just got sent, man! Yeah, yeah. That's... Right that's, to the blast zone! Yeah, that's that DI out. That's the spaghetti DI. That was yeah. rough. And JD showing the Doc still has enough to make this work, really. He's, yeah. He can do it. I mean, he was playing so patiently. JD, and it seemed like JD was the one who was trying not to to aggress there. You just saw him yeah. use the pills on the platform, yeah. you know, make sure to only approach with the the back airs. He He's learning this matchup as we... Or not learning, I'm sure he knows the he's matchup, but he's, he's to adapting to the style. matchup as we speak. Right, and it was actually really impressive the way that he was able to force Kaysen to attack him. Yeah. I was really surprised that Kaysen was approaching so often, and, and when he did every time, JD was ready for it and and got like up bees out of shield, got grabs and all of these things just finally added up and paid off for him this time. You know, I think the thing is though, it's you know, you can say I guess like you need to play patiently, right? And you can play patiently, but it is really hard to do that mentally over the course yeah. of like a a yeah. five game set, right? That's yeah. You're just like you know, it's trying to cut down like a tree with a knife, right? Right. You just sit like cutting over and over and over again yeah and that's gonna take you 12 hours and that's gonna get frustrating eventually you're just gonna want to try to take an axe and swing that whole thing down yeah and that's not to mention that we're cutting down several trees in a forest with that knife if you're considering this entire tournament that kaysen has been in exactly playing super patient so like for him to have the composure this far in bracket all the way in grands on game five now to be patient, it, it's a tall order, and I, I understand why Kaysen's playing aggressive. But if he's able to, to clutch it out with some patient play here, it's going to be way harder for JD. Yeah, it looks like we've got an aggressive approach to start game five here from Kaysen, too. He's staying in Doc's threat bubble, and so far it's produced an even game in terms of percent. Now he's got JD in the corner. Going to go with the Paralyzer. That was a nice... It's almost like he will scoot it a little bit forward. Yeah. Interesting movement option. All right, the downer gets him back in advantage just like that, and now JD is in a tough situation. Yeah. Escapes it somehow, but right now they just keep both trading advantage and disadvantage. It's going to be really uh, dangerous to whoever gets knocked away far enough that they... Ooh. Okay. They get the neutral air, trying to get the paralyzer, doesn't have it. JD content to wait on the platform or wait under the platform and use that pill. And that's going to be a paralyzer into now, the up yeah. yeah, He's living that from across the stage, but I mean, nevertheless, that is a lot of damage. And it's a demoralizer when you get hit by that, that stun into up B. It just feels so frustrating that you that you got hit by that because it's so consistent. Yeah. It's so good. Ooh, no up smash there. Going to uh, just wait it out, but still going to get the kill with the back air. So start off game number five. Yeah, it's looking decent for Kaysen so far at the start of this game, but JD has very clearly adapted from the beginning of the set, and I'm I'm fairly sure that this is going to be a closer game than, than it looks right now. Ooh, goes for the F-Smash, doesn't get it. Hits the neutral air, though. 
Now oh, off stage. The pill. He's not gonna make it back. Wow. He took Kason's jump. Wow. Okay. So, I mean, <laughs> things like that can happen. I, it, it's not out of the realm of possibility. And granted, I'm not sure if that's gonna happen again for the rest of the set, as long as Kason is as is wary of it. But one stock might be all it, it takes. I mean, this is two stocks away from a reset for JD here. Now, JD's F-Tilt usage has also been really good. Really it's like good. a really quick attack to sort yeah. of poke away Case, uh, Case, and you'll see him use it two yeah. times, three times, sometimes alternating the, the side at which he does it, and yeah. it's been pretty good for him. And it, ever since, uh, ever since some patches ago, it is pretty strong. Oh, I didn't know it got buffed. Oh, he hits him off the top wow. with the up air. Interesting DI, I might add. And Kaysen is one stock away from winning this tournament. It's it's unfortunate because JD looked like he had something cooking there for a little bit. And uh, and his... his, his oh! Wow! Hits him off the top with a down tilt to forward air. Wow, I don't think that should have killed. No, that lad exploded. That yeah. was that was really strong. No, that, wow. move is, that move is really, really strong. That Incredible is... play from JD. Every time you think he's down, he comes up with a way to come back. Yeah. Let's oh, see he, he got hit with the paralyzer. That yeah. was almost a spike. Now oh, JD, he used his jump. He's just going to up be back to stage. Gets up at the right time to avoid the paralyzer. Not that paralyzer. Oh, he air drops off stage, oh. and that's going to be the tournament. Oh. Kasten takes it 3-0, or 3-2 over JD. And he is your between two legends, or between two lakes, 37.